Good show tonight. Four great battles. I know two of them are good. Uh, <laughs> this first one's exciting. This guy's from San Diego. One and oh, Mitch Ryan. <laughs> yes. Mitch, what up? How's it going? Looking good, man. Come on. Yeah, you can put it here. Put your beer there. Thank yeah. you. You want to know? You're battling your buddy, uh, what is his name? Sebastian Fowler. Seabass, yeah. Ooh, Seabass Fowler from Connecticut. Hasn't won. He's 0 1. Why are you doing this to Seabass? Uh, yeah, Seabass. We drove up together today from San Diego. And uh, on the way here, we stopped at a rest area, and he asked to use my hotspot to play Pokemon Go. And uh, <laughs> just didn't sit right. So I think, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm not going to step on any of that, but all right. I mean, the fact that both of them had to stop to come from San Diego is ridiculous. <laughs> Niggas needed hates, to take yeah. a nap. Yeah. San Diego boy, Mexico hates San Diego. All right, uh, this guy came from, came from San Diego with Mitch. Make it loud for Sebastian Fowler. Hey, what's up, everybody? Hell yeah. All right. <laughs> I don't know what side to be on. I'm sorry, Brian. You, no, you guys are good. You guys look like you're uh, staying like an Airbnb at a homeless encampment. <laughs> That's it, baby. San Diego. Uh, uh, all right. <laughs> Why do you look like this, Sebastian? Because I'm my parents. Your parents? For the whole thing? She bought me most of this outfit, honestly. Yeah, you play my mom. Oh, that's cool. All right. Uh, why are you doing this to Mitch? Why, uh, why are you battling in front of all his peers? Honestly, he was talking about driving up here. Like, I had to pull over and play Pokemon because he just kept talking about how the Holocaust didn't happen. And I was like, Oh, <laughs> uh, there, huh? Hey, I got it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, A Chan. Right. Shalom. <laughs> One round, it's three jokes. Sebastian, Mitch. Who's going first? All right. <laughs> All right, this is the battle of the guys who stole that Pamela Anderson video in the 90s. <laughs> Let's roast! Woo! Hell yeah. Uh, like I said, Seabass, uh, he loves Pokemon. Uh, when Seabass was a kid, he was the one that used to make his Pokemon cards kiss, actually, so. <laughs> I was really more of a, I bought Brat style, so my G.I. Joe's had something to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sarah Jessica Parkour. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, it's fine. Mitch is the kind of guy who would let a who lets his dog lift pe like peanut butter off his balls, but he gets mad at it. He gets he says like he says bad dog because he missed a spot. <laughs> listen, listen. So since our last roast battle, Seabass has actually he celebrated the birthday of his dead father, and uh, so you know I won the last battle, so I'm one and zero in roast battles, and also one and zero on father figures. <laughs> Hell yeah, that was ice cold. Just like my daddy's corpse. <laughs> he still fucks it. <laughs> Look, it's a, it's a problem. <laughs> uh, Mitch looks like uh, if Matthew McConaughey and Jared Leto switched roles in Dallas Buyers Club. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. <laughs> uh, yeah, man. I found out Seabass likes BMX biking a lot. That's his thing. Um, but to me, Seabass looks more like a motorcycle guy. And I think he sh he'd be in a motorcycle game called Hell's Anal, I think. Uh, <laughs> what can I say? I like to party. <laughs> Mitch, uh... <laughs> That's whatever. Mitch and I went to the same high school and used to get made fun of all the time. My favorite little moment was this kid with the stutter was making fun of him. He was like, m -m 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 Mitch! More like, b -b 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 faggot. <laughs> Never fails. You're gonna hear a homophobic slur every every show. Ten years strong, ten years long. I hear the F word every show. All right, this is fun stuff. Uh, let's go to my haters. Haters, who'd you hate the most? Ah, uh, you call someone the F word. Dallas Buyers Club, an AIDS joke. I'm gonna give it to the the nigga with the same color pants I got on. Yeah, 
Y'all yeah, shop with Bob's Liquor. Yeah, I just or just talk oh, about it. I hate them. the most. I, I don't know. I hate bro. <laughs> I feel like if you roll down your sleeves and button up your shirt, Steve Harbour would wear the same outfit. <laughs> and I hate that. <laughs> All right, uh, let's start with uh, my firing squad. Alex Hooper, who'd you like, Fargo or Boogie Nights? Oh. <laughs> I mean, this is, this. who sells drugs to who in this relationship? <laughs> Yeah. This just Old school or new school? Yeah, Shit. this felt like a really odd Tinder date here in West Hollywood. <laughs> Honestly, it looks like you both shop at the same thrift store, just in different sides of it. Like, yeah. Oh, you're going to say that? I, hey, look, Sebastian and I have done ketamine off Devil Sticks together at music festival, so... This is very true. Disco stew over there, fucking, you know. He had a couple good ones. Rob, you look like you're ready to rob a CVS. That just like... I'm sorry, Mitch. I'm sorry, Mitch. Is, uh, Mitch Ryan. Yeah, you were those just such big pockets over there. <laughs> um, really fun, guys. Uh, I mean, I think uh, Hell's Anal, you know, great wordplay. But honestly, the best joke in there was the Dallas Buyers Club joke. It was thoughtful. It was original. It was a good take on what he looks like. We got it if you saw that movie. So uh, just by one little bump, I give it to Sebastian. Yay! Oh, yeah. I never All saw right. the movie. <laughs> All right, Zach, who do you like? You like a uh, a truck driver or a magic school bus driver? I feel like you guys are like the reason why people get stereotyped for like smelling like dogs and shit. And uh, for those of you who don't understand, you know, there's white people and then there's silly billies. And uh, (laughs) silly billies have got to go. No, but uh, Sebastian fucking, I think, dominated that. He won. Seabass, my apologies. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. Sure thing. All right, for Tammy, which one of these guys who marched at Charlottesville do you like? This was a great first round of the Republican primaries. <laughs> you two are the funniest guys in the trailer park. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just impressed you both know how to write. Uh, both had some amazing jokes. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna edge it out to Sebastian just because you know he his jokes hit a little bit harder and he had some really quick rebuttals with that. But you're both great. Yay! Thank you so right, much. Thank right. you. Kamish, it doesn't really matter, but uh, yeah, which version of Eminem do you like? <laughs> yeah, they look like his neighbors uh, on Eight Mile. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, this was a this was a really fun opening battle. Mitch looks like an undercover cop who doesn't know he's supposed to be undercover. <laughs> and Sebastian, Dude. Sebastian, you look like Jesus after a queer eye makeover. <laughs> 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 But yeah, I mean, this was a this was a good opening battle. Uh, Mitch Mitch had a couple hits in there, but the Dallas Buyers Club was uh, was the joke of the battle for me, and I think Sebastian got it. All right, thank you guys so much. All right, audience, it's on you. Who do you like here? Do you like Mitch Ryan? Yeah. Or do we like Sebastian Fowler? Yeah. Hell yeah! Thank you guys. Keep it going, folks. For Sebastian Fowler. Hug each other, you two. You're driving home together. This is a virgin suicide.